Hello fellow game chefs, this is Axmill and welcome to my first recipe showcase. Today I'm going to show you how to make a breakfast burrito. The ingredients will appear on screen after this segment and you may pause there when it starts. Please share and subscribe to me to channel before you start this and without further ado let us begin with the first step. So to begin our first step, all you got to do is simply fill a single pot with cold water. You can fill it up an okay amount, like, it should not take too much effort to do that. I mean, it's getting a little more It feels halfway-ish for this kind of thing. Or, if you don't want to fill it halfway, just fill it enough to... I'm doing two eggs, you can do as many as you want for this, but anyways, now they are obviously submerged, so let's go on to the next step. Now for step two, simply put the eggs, try not to spill, because that's an issue. Um, okay, there we go, we good. And if you have an oven like me, an electric oven, I don't know why it's like on a gas stove, set it to a pretty high temperature. I'm gonna set it to my highest on the oven and apply the lid and let it sit there until it boils. And here we are, it's about to boil. I'm just gonna quickly skip ahead at this part until it finishes boiling, if it doesn't start immediately. Okay guys, now I, I have to handle the video myself. So first take it off the heat. Sorry that I ha for the poor video coverage here. It's hard to do it at the same time. And then just shut off the heat completely and let it rest for roughly, let's say here, 18 minutes. Try not to do any more than that. Trust me. It gets overcooked and gets kind of gray on the outside otherwise. Here goes nothing. There we have it, guys. It's begun. So now, oh, trying not to show my face camera person. Um, we actually, this is the more challenging part. Look out camera. So at this point, you have to heat the, you have to remove, Put to the hot water as possible. It's because it's one heck of a lot of spoon, hopefully it doesn't mess up the camera. And then, the next thing is cold. We wait until they are covered. And then you can, you may leave them for as long as three hours in there. And you you can they will last up to five days in the fridge. I don't know I don't know about freezing conditions. That's kind of weird. And, well, yeah, if you want to microwave, you microwave them for 20 seconds after slicing them, because then they kind of explode from the inside out. And, yeah. Pusheen Corner. Hi, it's Pusheen. Now, Pusheen wants to say something. Everyone knows that eggs are delicious, but why did X Mara, X Mara pick high boiled eggs? Well, hard boiled eggs are easy to make, and you can do a whole bunch of things with them. With me, I like scrambled eggs, deviled eggs, hard boiled, a bunch of kind of eggs. I can't have them as that. And, yeah. And also, there's a question everyone has been asking, Pusheen. Is Pusheen fat or fluffy? Pusheen is fluffy. I just have a lot of fur. I'm like my mom. My mom didn't, wasn't fat. She just had a lot of fur. And, if you're wondering, I'll be in videos when Axmella is cooking. When he, either he's making hard boiled eggs or some type of dessert. I'll be in most of those videos. But right now, I gotta go see what Axmella is doing. Boy! And now for the assembly part. I have right here. A beautiful, beautiful egg slicer, which mm. nice. 
My camera person is weird. Anyways, basically, I'm gonna. You can cut it with a normal knife too. I just do this to cheat. I actually usually remove the end pieces because these things are like white level pieces of crap. But it sounds racist. Um. Anyways, now you can do if you want to. I, I recommend cutting it even smaller. So basically, dicing it in tiny little cubes. These are, that yolk would be gray at the moment. Actually, it might be in some spots. If if your yolk here is pale, that is totally fine. It, the yolk can definitely very much be pale because of the fact that that just means that the egg is a little bit older. Now, hey, hi Max. It's pushing. What are you doing? <laughs> Making eggs stupid. How do you how do you assemble them? Okay, Show fine, me. fine, stupid dummy. Now, first of all, apply salt. Ah. Okay. Nice. Sure. This is mostly a luck based for me. Then pepper. Electric pepper. Nice. Yeah. Then I usually add some cheese. I very, very much recommending adding cheese to this. Don't do what I did and used to make what I call the cheese nato. Is that... it recommended for cheese or is it your choice? Honestly, uh, after you add, uh, you basically, I recommend having cheese, salt, and pepper. Anything else that works with those flavors is good. I'm, to me, since I probably put too much pepper in there, I'm actually going to add some bacon bits. Ooh, bacon's yummy. I know, right? And then just sprinkle it evenly across. You don't have to be precise. It'll be fine. How many, how many handfuls of bacon do you usually add? Um, usually just one. I might need more sometimes, though. Uh -huh. And, well... It looks yummy. Anyways, though, then this is how you fold it. I have, first of all, make sure it's not stuck. Yeah. I do this. Yes. Fold it upwards like this. Ah, oh, it's like a tiny then, taco. I mean, burrito. It's like uh, a tiny burrito. It's supposed to be a burrito. And, well... Oh, that's just... And if you want, you can add milk on top? I'm just adding that to make it look good. Anyways, though, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check some of my underrated work. Yeah, and Pushy will be here too, so come back. Yes. This is Axmella. Goodbye.